Welcome to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10-2. I'm David Lovejoy. And I'm Chuckalicious Chuck Williams. And the Amarillo Better Business Bureau is there to protect consumers and also to fortify and bolster businesses across the high plains. The leader of that group, Ms. Jonna Keel, joins us this morning. Ms. Jonna, how are you doing today? Good morning. I'm doing great. I hope you guys are too. We're doing good. We're doing good. I, you, you, you put an interesting thought on the mind. This is the time of the year, whether it be at your home or, or workplace or whatever, that we start fixing up, doing a few things around the house. As we start looking for people to come in, looking at our lawns and stuff. But we've never looked at it from the angle of, let's say you're a business owner and you're remodeling one new floor in your, your break area or your lawn care, your landscaping for mm -hmm. the summer. Uh, who do who do the businesses go to to find out who's the best in business? Uh, Ms. Jonna is going to address that with us this morning. Ms. Jonna, how do businesses find out what businesses are doing what they need to do? Well, you know, businesses are sometimes consumers too, so they need to use the resources of the Better Business Bureau to find a reliable company. A lot of businesses in our area, of course, are accredited businesses with BBB, and so they, you know, know the value of being trustworthy and meeting those standards. And so in order to do that, you know, they work at it every day. They work at it every year. We check on them every year to make sure that they're still meeting those standards and customers can trust that. So when businesses need a business to help them at their business, you know, it's always good for them to check with BBB as well. I've had a couple of businesses say, you know, we're, we're doing some remodeling, uh, maybe, you know, even just cleaning our floors, uh, you know, or, or hiring a cleaning company because there's maybe something happened and, you know, they want to they want to switch cleaning companies. Uh, BBB is still the place to start for businesses. So business to business or consumer to business, we're here with a list of trustworthy businesses in any industry that they can shop from. And, you know, it, it helps that because it helps them because they also know that when they are their services needed, uh, people come to BBB to check as well. So being on our website, going to get that list of accredited businesses, getting those bids, doing the same things that we uh, suggest consumers do when they're looking for a business uh, makes that whole transaction a lot more convenient. It makes it less, you know, it, less of a hassle, um, more hassle free because they're doing business with other accredited businesses. You know, that brings to my mind, you know, the, one of the big things is reviews. What's the easiest way? How can businesses get the reviews, ask the customer for the review of their company, good, bad, or indifferent. There has to be a way to go about that. Oh, absolutely. And many, many businesses have apps that they use. And, you know, as soon as the transaction is over, they send a note to the customer or a text message or an email, and they say, hey, would you mind giving us a review? And a lot of times that's the way a business's reputation is enhanced. So at BBB, we have customer reviews as well. So we have an A plus through F rating, which the company earns through different situations in their file. But we also have a star rating, and that star rating is based on customer reviews. So customers have a say as to, you know, how many stars a company has and, you know, whether or not that experience was positive. Now, in our case, fortunately, uh, more than 80% of the reviews that come through BBB are positive reviews mm -hmm. so that that's a win-win because customers count on those reviews to do to decide if they're going to do business with that company and they look at that to see you know what the experience is and what type of company it, it this business is with their customers firsthand and so for accredited businesses we also have a free app that they can use uh, that they can just put on their phone or any device and they can actually send this to their customers and have them leave a review uh, on their BBB profile. And you know, a lot of companies, like I said, they're already using apps and, and that's okay. They can use more than one app at a time and ours is free for accredited businesses. So it, it's just a real positive way today to be able to uh, tell of your experience and also have others see 
the real experiences that happen with customers and with that business every day. Uh, Ms. John, that's something that you really tried to do over the years with the BBB. Uh, between the business relationships and the consumer relationships is to make this interactive. That this mm -hmm. is, is a lot of this and a lot of things that you do as far as prevention or promotion uh, really rely on the interaction between everyone involved in this. It, well, why is that a big deal and important for the BBB and for the consumer? Well, you know, really it is important all the way around, David, because again, other customers want to see what the business is really like, like, you know, in real life. Uh, so not just um, that they have, let's say, been in business so long, or they don't have any complaints, but what is the real experience with customers? And most customers want to share that, especially when it's positive, because so many times, you know, we're ready to uh, say, well, I have a complaint and I want to, uh, tell you about my bad experience with this company. And really, I think that whole dynamic is shifting over to, let's talk about the more positive things. Let's talk about what's good and what's right about this business. And that's very, very important for the consumer experience all the way around. So, you know, when we want to do that, we, we, we don't always say the, the good things, right? We, we, we are quick to be negative or to complain but we really need to be just as quick to say that company did a great mm -hmm. job. Uh, their employees did a great job and they're attentive and they know their product. They know their industry and they were responsive to questions. And, you know, they make the consumer, especially with a uh, something in your home, like a home contractor of any type, you know, from HVAC to remodeling, they make them feel more comfortable because they know uh, they know their business and they're experienced in it and they are really uh, trained. And so it, it's a win-win situation because when a contractor comes into your home, that's an intimate transaction. They're in your home, they might be there for several days. It might just be one day, but you know, they know that they are, they know your home. They come in and you trust them, whether it's with your cooling system, with your plumbing, you know, even uh, making your yard look nice if you hire a landscape contractor. So, you know, you have to trust that they're going to not only represent you, but they're also going to, you know, make sure that they do things the way you want them done, because again, that is your home. And, and do you think, Jonathan, it also makes it so, and you don't want people to think this, that the BBB is not advocating or advertising for anyone. So it's not your pick. It's not your choice of, oh, I like this company because I like these folks over here better than this, or I like, it, it has nothing to do with that. This is just strictly based on how customers have interacted with the business, right? Absolutely. You know, of course we do vet those customer reviews, just like we do complaints. Mm -hmm. We have policies that say this, you know, we can take this or, you know, we, we cannot maybe not take that one, um, but it, it has to meet the standards. So once that is done, um, for example, a customer review comes in, but it's really someone complaining and they want the company to come back and fix the job. Or it could be a customer review comes in and the company says, we don't know that customer. We've never done business with them. Uh, then we will check further into it. We will get into having the customer uh, conversation so they can tell us specifically where was this transaction? Was this really the company? Or are you sure you don't want to maybe file a complaint because you want a resolution? So we work with the customer and the company to get the right response. And, you know, that's that happens um, every now and then. But most of the time, the consumers know. No, I want to file a review. I want to tell my experience and I don't want anything in return. That's a customer review. If they say, well, I want to file a complaint and I want the company to respond and let me know what is going on with my situation here. I need some feedback from the company, then that's likely a complaint. So we still do administer and manage those types of situations, of course, but no, we remain neutral and we allow the customer to let us know or the company to let us know what's really going on there. We're just a neutral third party that administers those transactions.